Hello there. Today we want to learn more about the command prompt, or is also known as a Microsoft Disk Operating System. In short, it's called MS DOS program. Uh, it's one of the programs that helps you to understand more about the keyboard shortcuts and some of the files about the system, files or operating system, or about the Windows or any other system software. In this case, as you can see, you require to open this program. In open this program, you require to go to the search here. Uh, search depending on the video that you are using. You can either search here a command prompt, or if you type the command prompt, you're gonna see this program uh, command prompt, or go to start. Once you click start here in this data button, then look for all programs, then click accessories, then click command prompt. This is how you open the program. Just go to start button, all programs, accessories, then click command button. Then click command prompt, and automatically it open the program. Once it open the program, the first prompt you can see this page where we have now the, the Windows version for this one, which is now Windows 10 for this one, which is now copyright 2015, Microsoft Corporation. Or I have in this case it open depending on the window that you are using. So if you are using Windows 7 XP, uh, Windows 8.1, you see different version of that. After opening that one, you see this information for this one for C users. Uh, for example, this such an admin. That is the way you see that information. To move a step backward, you need to type this command C D N2 dot. This two CD and two dot, as you can see here, it is the the, the the command that you're gonna write for this one. And once you write this command, CD CD and two dot, it means to move. It will enable you then you press enter to move a step backward. Once you move the step backward, you see it will just move only one single step backward. So you see, so you can still type CD two dot to move another step backward. Uh, now you come now through drive C. This one is called a drive C. Uh, as for this one, and now to change this drive C because the window, the drive C is the one which is carrying the windows, and sometimes you may interfere with the windows files and you end up corrupting, uh, making the windows to corrupt. To avoid that one, you need to to do do with the doors in drive D, or you change the drive from C to D. Uh, or from D to E, another different drive in this case, but not the one which is carrying Windows to avoid those corrupt files. In this case, you can see to change this drive, this is the command that you're gonna use. You type D for colon. It will enable you to move now to change the drive from C, from drive C to drive D, as you can see here. And then uh, from drive D now. You can now create a file. You want to create a file in MS DOS. We need to use the command copycon, is the command for creating a new file. Destiny will uh, the file it will stand for any file name and com will stand for any extension. Then now you can press enter and type the content about the destiny. As you can see here, destiny is achieved when nothing more left meaning everyone is trying to achieve uh, to achieve it uh, to save the file uh, if you see this command this one you need to press f6 in the functional keys or you press control plus z control and z simultaneously uh, you can use this one as a command for saving a file or press f6 in the functionals key we just give you that the same code and you would save you see that it is telling that one file is copied it means you have already saved the file uh, i need to show you some of those various files that you have created for example that one and you have here you have the list of the prior of the files we have already created in our in our, in our system you can see copycon objective.com then you have the content copycon graphic.com you have the content uh, copycon courses.ict you have the file as you can see there uh, copycon kenya.254 those are all those are files uh, vision.net as you can see here and now that is the content about the vision 
uh, we have the co uh, the core values dot c dot scc technical dot icc uh, and other files as you can see sorry i'm just scrolling them so that you can see the content what you can write about those files there are very many files as you can see there we have just the list of all those programs all those files as you can see there you can keep scrolling them and scrolling them and scrolling them there are very many files you need to now you can see those files we have seen there are as many files as possible all those files up to there those are the list of uh, files that you can create and use those files in ms dos let's proceed in this program now as you can see here uh, we have now the files as for this one uh, you can see we have variety of those files uh, for this one you can use those files to do various uh, duties various duties of those files uh, and as you can see here we have now the files there i need to show you about them uh, when you see this command dir stroke w that is a command which will help you to display files wide page and that is why you see that volume into fd such a admin that is the serial number you have the directory of d and now you can see some of those files which are in that drive there are as many as you can see the file there uh, when you see this file this kind of a file this one represents a, a directory or a folder this is a file you see these downloads that one represent a folder or in those is called directory that's how you differentiate between a file and a folder all files uh, in directory in ms dos language you can see now we have the list of the files that you can create there those are just the list of the files and folders that you're gonna create there we have very many of them as you can see now those are the files then in you, if you need to display the content of a file you need to display the content of a file so that you can see what is inside a certain file for example web design uh, dot ke i need to see what is content inside that all vision.net i need to use the command type space then you type the file name for example vision.net and now it will display automatically once you press enter display the content of that file then i need to rename a file giving a new name this is what you call renaming so to rename a file we use the command ren r e n space you put the f uh, old file name which is now webdesign.ke space then you put now the new name so for example webdesign uh, space webdesign.ke space wajenga tovuti.tz that is now a new name for that file uh, then you press enter automatically you will be in a position to rename a file uh, when you type to the, the older file name it tell you it already doesn't exist simply because you have renamed a file this is now the command for combining two files you use the command copy you put the space then you type the first file name webdevelopment.com plus the second file name which is now ceo.web space then you put now new name to paterna.254 that stands for a new name it means under this file once you display the content you see a, it's a combination of two different files which is now this file and this one where is by once i combine to get one file is copied then we have now this command attrib plus h space technical.ict it means it's command for hiding a file so that cannot be displayed in the list of other programs for example here you can see our file are 59 files and 13 directories it means when you hide one file and you try to display the files uh, once again using dir-w or using dir-p it you see the number of files will reduce by one simply because you have hidden 
you have hidden one of the file by the name technical.ict. That's how you hide a file. This command atri plus r uh, space search and is a command for protecting a file or make file as a range only. Either protect a file uh, at plus r space search and pride dot com or make a file as a read only. It means that file cannot be changed anything. You cannot even delete it. How are you going to know that this file is protected? You need to use the command del. Del is a command for deleting or erasing the file. So it means this file you have protected here area. You can try to delete it and write del search and pride dot com. You see it will give you this content at search and .com, access is denied it means you cannot uh, delete that file uh, which is already protected uh, then now we have the use of wildcard wildcard uh, is all about uh, commands with the use of asterisk or question mark which helps you to do display files with the same characteristic for example Files with the same extension. Example.com. Files with the, starting with the same file. For example, s and files with, with the same characteristics. All with have files with the same letters, uh, with a, a couple of uh, various letters. Those are you can use those on to display the files. Maybe you cannot remember the name, but you can remember it is having this extension or that extension from one program to another. For example, ms word. You can use aesthetic dot d o c x ms excel you can use a uh, aesthetic dot xls uh, you can use another program for example aesthetic dot ppt x to open now powerpoint mpmd to open adobe page maker so you search aesthetic dot pmd you see automatically give you the files which helps you to display for page maker among other programs That's how the world card can enable you to do display in our list here, for this drive once I type dir space asterisk, this one is asterisk, uh, asterisk dot com. It means for this asterisk dot com, I need to display, you can see some of these files, all of them as you can see, they have the same relationship because they are extensions, all of them are dot com as you can see. They are, have a different file name, but extension are the same. There are 10 of files which are already created and they have that the same extension. Uh, then you have this dir space asterisk s asterisk dot asterisk. It means it will display files starting with s followed by any character and with any extension. That's what it means. And as you can see, we have the list of files there. We search them, search them, search them, search them, search them, among others, search others. You can see we have all those files, search in Kenya, CEO, setup, among others. All those are files with the same, uh, starting with S, but what follows are different. We have this file, dir space asterisk e dot asterisk. It means it is displaying files adding with the file name e and with any extension it means doesn't matter what it start with but what matters it is supposed to add with letter e and with an extension and as you can see for example those are some of the files for example courage courage there among other files pride as you can see among other files you can see they have those extension to pattern among others you can see the other characters and there are 10 files there. That's how you work on MS DOS, the first topic. So let's go to the next topic. Thank you for and subscribe for more information and you can ask any question you require in the reference at the comment button uh, at a YouTube, an uh, account on YouTube and get more information about MS DOS among other programs. Thank you and continue watching part two of uh, this program.